my full impressions of this thing after beating a boss challenge has been unlocked. Okay, so after beating the demo, my thoughts of Stellar Blade is kind of mixed. I am one happy like a game like this exists uh, that Capcom could jump into a is this Capcom who's developing Stellar Blade I don't know why I keep saying Capcom but this is uh developed by shift up which I don't know too much about and it's being published by Sony this is being put up as a quote-unquote flagship PS5 exclusive title for the time being and playing it feels like a just looking at it playing it it feels like a ps5 does it land everywhere no it doesn't it doesn't land this hits everywhere where something like i don't know like a spider-man a last of us uh a uncharted i don't i don't see it reaching those heights this is definitely a b tier when it comes to um sony ps5 exclusives i think when we look at it when the ps5 is all said and done and we're putting up the greatest games this is definitely gonna probably rank in the c tier b tier um at the highest the, the playstation definitely you know we definitely need certain games to hit those marks those benchmarks those not i don't want to say not the greatest games of all time but games that are for different people are for different niches someone that is, is going to come from a, a a game like elden ring or a game like bloodborne or was those sword so all the sword borns games are gonna eat this up and love it and like the combat and think it's pretty cool all the different stuff you could do me as a casual gamer who can't even nail a good parry for my life comes in plays this and gets super frustrated with the way the combat feels you don't feel so smooth maybe you have to unlock more which i get it is they do have rpg elements where you have to like unlock you know you get faster you get stronger you know you get better parries and stuff like that i understand that so you by the end of the game you feel like a super badass i prefer to play games that you feel like a super badass out the gate and yes you probably learn a little bit more stuff but the stuff in tool set that you learn kind of like enables you to feel more like a badass for some reason i feel very limited of what the starting palette of like combos parries and stuff is in this game and maybe that's just me um and, but i feel very 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 much just like out of it and just like uh oh this is rough this is rough this is rough by the end of the demo i'm feeling a little bit better but again it's still not at the place where if i was to throw this on i would feel comfortable playing whatever how long this game is and that brings me to the point will i buy this game at a what 70 dollars no at the end of the demo no it's not going to be something that i think is going to be in a super enjoyable time for a player like me uh that is more of a casual guy that is a you know first person shooter third person shooter type guy that does like the story games you know what i'm saying that does play pokemon a ton but you know when it comes to these action you know action oriented games i do it I do like it on the more funner side, leaning more funner than more tactical and, you know, you have to parry everything and, you know, I like it more Devil May Cry than Elden Ring, than, you know, Bloodborne. And that's just where I fall on the spectrum of Stellar Blade of like my thoughts on it. I will be staying away from it, but I do respect it. I do think it's going to do well. I would probably enjoy some high level players playing it on Twitch. I'll probably check into some Twitch streams of people playing it. Um, but I don't think this is going to be one that I'm going to be popping in to play. Um, maybe maybe later on down the road if it's like a playstation plus game and i already had it or it's on xbox game pass and i'm just like looking for stuff to play on the xbox maybe but as for right now this is definitely a wait and see for me um i'm i like the demo it definitely had me at its paces it definitely put me put me on the on the on the breaking point i did made it through so i'm i'm happy of that but at the end of the day, this is definitely one that I'm going to pass, but enjoy from afar type vibe. I have to jump back in. I have to jump back in. I have to jump back in. So I, I, it goes without saying that 
the music of this game to me is probably the biggest highlight i am going to be looking on youtube and spotify and stuff like that for the music of this game adding it to playlists because the music of this game is incredible it is incredible i just wanted to add that in let's add that in probably at the end or whatever of the you know review part of the demo mode video whatever the case may be but yo the music yes there's bangers here let me know what you think in the comment section below like always guys i answer all comments so let's have a conversation about stella blade down there if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button i do videos like this all the time playing demos of upcoming games or games that just released and getting a vibe and see if we're gonna jump in and play it on the channel if you like that type of vibe again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos into recommended so other people can check out the channel peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one daddy gamer fred the trash you trash freddy your mama